Hey guys and gals, so tomorrow night uh, we're going to be doing a cowboy ribeye. This thing looks pretty good. It's from Snake River Farms. This is Prime. So you can see, uh, I think the marbling looks pretty okay. Not super great, but pretty good. It was cut really nice. I just did a little bit of trimming. I took a little bit of fat off some of this uh, heavier chunky stuff that I, I don't think we need. But mostly it looks pretty good. I just used my paring knife just to take off a little bit extra. Looks really nice, really clean. This is about two pounds, two inches. We're gonna try to do uh, four adults and two kids by slicing this into some pieces. I think I'm gonna go to the store right now and get some baked potatoes. And I'm letting that butter, butter soften up because I think I'm gonna make a garlic butter and a little oven uh, onion thing to go on top of it. So I think it's gonna be good. So I took a quarter stick of butter and I made up this uh, kind of a flavored butter here which has uh, unsalted butter, some plain salt, some of this black pepper, uh, thyme, and some of this uh, chopped garlic that I got from the Korean market. And I just kind of took it and mixed it up with my uh, trusty glove here. And I'll show you how I'm gonna form that in a minute. We're gonna use that for a little pad on top of the meat tomorrow as well as uh, with the potatoes. Here you can see that seasoned butter. I just form it up in some saran wrap and you just kind of twist it around and it kind of just forms into kind of a little cylinder. Hey guys, got this prime uh, cowboy ribeye rubbed up ready to go. We did uh, black pepper and garlic and I salted the night before. And I'm drinking this uh, um, rye whiskey finished in port barrels. It's from Paso Robles, super nice. It's got a nice uh, fruity, nose and finish to it which is kind of super cool so it's gonna be a good night yeah this stuff from uh, Paso Robles is super nice check out the specs here 100 proof 50% alcohol batch 3 bottle number 3 bonus okay we got everything set up let's party let's do it open it up let's see how our woods doing that woods that's we're doing cherry today so we're gonna put this little piece on let's get that in there we're gonna let that burn up and uh, we're ready. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. We're gonna let that sear, get that wood going. We're gonna close up and finish it off with the slow and low. Okay, we got that cherry wood burning down. We've got the sear down right over the sear station. Let's take a look. We did a little cross hatch. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. We're gonna finish that up. And then we're going to move it to the low heat, put the temperature probes in. Well, right, guys, let's, let's take a look. That middle's reached 120. Let's take a look at the setup here. That cherry wood smells amazing. We're doing a little bit higher temperature because I, I didn't really want the slow and low for the beef. I, I do like a little bit of fat rendering. And I put some of these potatoes on there. These are uh, some olive oil and salt on the outside. And let's, let's feel first. Feels, yeah, feels pretty good. Let's see where we're at there. Oh yeah, that thing is ready, dude. Pull it off. Yeah, we're gonna cover that in foil and that thing is gonna be just fine. Okay, we got this plated up. We got this, uh, the Dodd from Paso Robles. Super delicious. Nice dark color, fruity flavor. Got some baked potatoes there. Some of that flavored butter and some uh, onions. There's the meat, star of the show, with that pat of butter on top. Ready to eat. Nice pink color. Little uh, smirk ring there. Pinkly Yum. apples today. Young potato. And try the meat, honey. Oh. It's got the, yeah, I've got the instructions. Yum. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Yum. I like it. Yeah, Kyle, how's the taste? He almost ate all of his meat. Hmm? Look, he finished it all already. You guys like it? Good. I like your dress, honey. Thank you. I like your hair. Do you want to try the bone? Okay. 